How to Remove Xanthamazon Eyelids Xanthamazon eyelids are also referred to as xanthalasma. When they first appear on the eyelids, they do so, as you have a lipid disorder that is causing too much bad cholesterol and lipid proteins in the body. The eyelid region is one of the areas of the body where the skin is weaker, so the lipid protein manifest here is it is an easy place for them to congregate. As they get bigger and become noticeable, some people pass them over as a sign of aging or are not bothered by them. Some people on the other hand hate them and want to remove their xanthomas on their eyelids as quick as possible. Once they get too large and start to spread across the eyelid region, they usually present a xanthoma planar, which is hen there is an ongoing enlarging patch of the xanthoma growing across the eye region. It often develops symmetrically around the eye and tends to appear in the upper and lower eyelids, usually in a narrow area between the lower and upper eyelashes. It rarely affects vision or eyelid movement, but can cause drooping or swelling on the eyelids and also cause eye pain. Although xanthomas of the upper eyelid can be removed largely by blepharoplasty, care should be taken. Lower eyelids that are not suitable for bleeding cause more serious side effects such as swelling, drooping and drooping eyelashes. Surgery to remove xanthomas on eyelids is something that you need to think about before steeping forward and having it done, as there can be after effects, reoccurrence of the plaques and can cause alternative disfigurement. What causes xanthomas on eyelids? It is a yellowish plaque that forms on the surface of the eye, usually in the form of a thick layer of calcium deposits. The deposits may be soft, hard or calcareous, although the variability is usually due to the chronicity of these plaques. Most people with eyelid xanthomas do not have high cholesterol or fat levels, which could put them at risk for heart disease, stroke or other serious health problems. You need to measure your blood cholesterol, LDL, medically control your food intake and prevent recurrence. Make an appointment with your GP as soon as possible if you notice any changes in your blood pressure, heart rate, blood sugar level or blood sugar level. How to get rid of xanthomas on eyelids? Xanthoma is a condition in which fat-filled macrophages fuse to form lesions on the superficial dermis. These lesions are found all over the body, but the most common form is on the eyelids. The lesions of the eyelids are usually located under the eyelid because the skin there is thin and the lipoproteins cause inflammation. Xanthalasma surgery is an effective method of having it removed, even though it is an expensive procedure. Several methods should be used to treat XP, including surgical removal of the lesions and the use of an algorithmic management approach. But the costing factor and also the chance of reoccurrence, stops a lot of people from committing to this particular technique for removal. The common recommended approach is with a dedicated treatment that is designed by dermatologists to specifically target the xanthomas on your eyelids, that's called xanthal. Discover more, not only about xanthal, but also a full detailed report on the pros and cons or the various treatment options, go to xanthalasmatreatment.com or xanthal.com.